Okay, <laughs> at least they're homemade, Kristen. That's yeah, all that's that matters. It's, it is it's the, the thought, heart that the counts. Thought and the effort that counts, <laughs> Crystal. Okay, Earth Day. You okay, ready? ready for the trivia, yes. Okay, question number, I think we're on four? What are we? We're yes, on four. four. We're on four, okay. What is the hottest temperature ever recorded on Earth and then in New Mexico? Oh. Uh, Ballpark. Like 127 on Earth? I'm going to go higher. I'm going to say, I'm gonna say 150 on Earth and in New Mexico. 150? Yeah. What? <laughs> I'm just kidding. What? I'm kidding. Is that is you that want me to guess? guess? No? It's a good guess. And okay. New Mexico, 115, I was 20. Like, yeah, like 113. Okay, close enough. The actual hottest temperature on Earth was in Death Valley, California, 134 that's degrees. That's what I. That's Fahrenheit. what I was going to say. Exactly. Woo! That is hot. <laughs> now here in New Mexico, though, hottest temperature ah. ever recorded oh. back in 1994, 122, just east of Carlsbad. I know. We're so They're usually the warmest you. on the map. Right? Yeah, we, but we talk about this too. Is Does bad. my ballpark figure count then? <laughs> yeah, you guys were close. I mean, you were over 100. You were closer yeah. to this question than you were about how old the Earth was. <laughs> so I'll give you that. You know, we weren't prepared. No, we weren't. For it that was just one. a warm up. That it one was, was a warm up <laughs> question. That didn't count. It was like the pre test. Yes, we got one more on the way, so don't go away. Current temperatures this morning in the 30s and 40s to the north, 40s and 50s to the south. Duke City, you're walking out the door to 49 degrees. We're still watching some sprinkles out across the far northern portions of the state the Colorado New Mexico state line. They're fading fast and for the rest of us it's just a clear sunny sky that we're waking up to as of now. Temperatures today in the upper 60s by noon we will get to the mid 70s today. So very similar to what we felt yesterday afternoon. A good amount of sunshine to start with a few more of the clouds building in by late day. The thing that we're watching for today is a cold front moving in across the northeastern plains. What that will do is give us a little bit of lift and enough moisture to get some thunderstorms going. And you can see, looking at the outlook, some of these storms definitely have the possibility of turning severe. Out in that yellow color, that's a slight risk of any developed storm getting to that severe level. So that's where our eyes will be to get those strong thunderstorms going today. We'll let you know if anything does develop or you could also track it on your own with our KRQE weather app. Let's talk about this next system moving in tomorrow. There's a few things that I like, the fact that it's there, and there's a few things that I don't like, the fact that we're going to be fighting some winds heading into tomorrow. We know here in Albuquerque, when we see the winds, it's really hard to get the rainfall going and to get it to actually fall from the cloud all the way to the ground, as we've been looking at those Virgo showers for the last two days. We're also really struggling with the amount of moisture. Not a lot packing in with this storm, which will also hurt us. And also, it looks like this storm will split into two. That's going to be a problem. So we're still looking at the chance of seeing these scattered showers going. They're just going to be pretty spotty when it comes to tomorrow and again on Friday. So we'll keep you in touch with this. We'll kind of see how this plays out through the day as that storm nears the state today. Southern Colorado, partly sunny and mild this afternoon in the low to mid 60s. We're going to stay in the 60s again tomorrow before the 50s briefly come back by Friday. Four Corners region, sun and clouds, stray shower possible over the higher elevations of the Hemis Mountains. We'll watch for a better shot, possibly tomorrow late in the day and again on Friday. And the weekend looks a little unsettled by the time we hit Sunday afternoon. Southwest, a lot of sun and a warm afternoon back to the 70s we go and well into the 70s at that. We'll watch for some better rain chances to come back in starting tomorrow. Southeastern Plains, mostly sunny and warm 80s again. Fort Sumner, Roswell and even Artesia. But we are starting to cool off. 70s briefly come back by Friday. We'll jump back to the low 80s for the weekend. Northeastern Plains watching out for some severe thunderstorms possible near the far northeastern corner areas near uh, Coppoline and even Clayton. I'd keep an eye out for some of those storms packing some small hail and gusty winds. Northern mountains, sun and clouds with the temperatures in the 50s and 60s. Even 70s inspect, expected in Española today. And the East Mountains, a mild day in the 60s and low 70s. A good amount of sun, hoping for some better rain chances by the time we finish up the work week. But the metro area, we're going to stay dry today. See a good amount of sunshine, helping get those temperatures back to the upper 70s. But we're starting to cool off 60s by the time we hit Friday with a chance of a spotty shower or two. This weekend will start off great. And then Sunday, we'll have to watch. Still a question mark on that with this next little disturbance moving in. So we're not going to add anything just yet. We'll keep you updated on that. You're still saying there's a chance, and that's what that's good enough. Still saying there's the a break. chance. Yes, especially out across the west where the system's coming from. Good. So hopefully by the time we hit tomorrow afternoon, we're talking at least meaningful rain. But today, I'm not seeing it. Okay. We'll look for it. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks so much, Kristen.